This is an animation of Africa at night. Two-thirds of people on the continent live without electricity, and those with access are paying up to 80 times more for electricity than people in Britain. That's why the UK government is using some of its foreign aid budget to fund the Energy Africa campaign. There is a, a, an urgent need to sort this out. You can't hope to develop anywhere if you don't have power for your citizens at home. Most of the leaders I speak to readily agree with that and when they discover there's a way to deal with it which doesn't require massive amounts of borrowing or even as I say massive amounts of aid, why wouldn't you do it? Britain has the skills and expertise in this and we're, we're proud to play our part in it. The campaign will help Africa achieve universal energy access by 2030 and Britain is working with 14 governments on the continent to remove the regulatory and financial barriers preventing homes and businesses from installing pay-as-you-go solar panels like these. This system uses mobile payments. Seven days power on average will cost around about three US dollars. Once you've made the payment, you then receive a code that you tap into this box and within 60 seconds, you're able to power up your home. Growing access to mobile phones across the continent, combined with a fall in the cost of solar power, means installing a pay-as-you-go solar system is often faster and cheaper than grid electricity and safer than kerosene lamps. solar home system, so it has a 10-watt solar panel. Entry-level solar panels cost around $100 to $200, but companies like Azuri are allowing customers to pay off that cost over time. It represents a really substantial investment for somebody in rural Africa. So what we do is to substitute, and instead of having that initial upfront cost, we spread that cost over a period of time so people are able to pay for it as they use it. And they, they get that money from the money they're saving on kerosene and on mobile phone charging. Without this initiative, it's estimated that it would take until 2080 before every home in Africa has access to the electricity grid. And Britain is hoping that the Energy Africa campaign will help develop the energy sector to bring sustainable and economic growth across the continent. Natalie Powell, CCTV, Cambridge.